Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting episode of Step by Step Pokemon. Well, somebody learned how to download OBS. <laughs> I used to do all my recordings on my phone and then just record voiceover afterward, but now you're going to get me live during all the games, so this ought to be kind of cool. So I got a new computer and um, I quit my job, I'm going to seminary, a lot of stuff going on, that's why I haven't uploaded anything in quite some time. But, uh, like I said, with going back to Summoner, I'm going to have to be doing a lot of writing, a lot of research, and I really needed a good computer to help me do that. So, just so happens that helps me have a little bit better software and uh, technology for the channel. So I'm really excited about this. Uh, I think this is going to make the channel a little bit cooler. So, and you get to see me now, which I guess is cool. The background all, uh, won't always be quite as plain as it is right now. Um, I'll try to have a little bit cooler background in the future, but hey, this is just the first one, so I figured why not. So, without further ado, let's talk about what we're going to be looking at today. So, this is a rotation Gardevoir Galley deck. Uh, it has the new and best draw engine of the format. I wrote about it recently, well recently as in like earlier today, in an article that released for TCA Gaming uh, about Octillery combined with Mallow combined with Puzzle of Time and how I really think that's going to be the best draw engine of this format. Why is it so good, you might ask? And why is it so good specifically in Gardevoir? We may ask with tears in a few weeks. But for now, let's take a look at this. You, you all know what Octillery does. Octillery lets you draw until you have five cards in your hand. Great. Mallow lets you search your deck for any two cards and put them on top of your deck. Of course, you shuffle your deck before putting them on top, then you place the two on top. So the idea is Mallow gets you any two cards you see here, and then Octillery lets you draw them. So rather than just discarding your hand seven cards, you put any two cards you want on top of the deck, and then draw them with Octillery. Well, you think, that's great. Now we lost via Seeker, but we can't really get stuff out of the discard pile. Oh, but we can. Uh, two puzzles of time, whenever you play two of them at the same time, uh, you can put any two cards from your discard pile into your hand. Not just a supporter, not just an item card, not just a trainer, any two cards. How about DCE and Energy for Energy Attachment and Secret Spring for the turn? Why not? Go for it. Rare Candy Gardevoir, go for it. And guess what? Let's just put two Puzzles of Time on top of the deck with Mallow, and then draw them with Octillery. Now, Mallow equals any two cards from the deck, or any two cards from the discard pile. Which is pretty lame, in my opinion. <laughs> I thought we might be done playing around with the discard pile, but we're not. We are going to keep diving deep into the discard pile in the game of Pokemon. Now, when whatever set this card is in, I think it's in the set coming out in October, the Shining Legend set, Zoroark GX lets you discard a card and draw two cards. The why is that better than Octillery, you might think? The difficult thing about Octillery is you have to play down to three cards in your hand to get the Mallow combo to work, or else you're just not going to be drawing the two cards that you got. So this draws until you have five. Zoroark GX lets you discard a card, then draw two cards no matter what your hand size is. The only way Zoroark doesn't work is if you play Mallow to put two cards on top of your deck, and then you have no cards in your hand. That's the only way it doesn't work. So this combo becomes a little bit stronger when the next set comes out out when we have access to Zorark GX. Now Zorark is a GX, so if it gets knocked out, you give up two prizes, whereas if Octillery gets knocked out, you only give up one prize. Something to consider. So um, why is it so good in this deck? Well, look at Gardevoir's GX attack. You're familiar with it. Shuffle 10 cards from your discard pile into your deck. Great. Used all four of your puzzles of time? Put them the freak back in. <laughs> I mean, how, how dumb is that? So you play all your puzzles of time to get, and at this point you've gotten four cards out of the discard pile. Just GX them right back in to get four more cards out of the discard pile. So Gardevoir GX's attack combines with Puzzle of Time to get you eight cards out of the discard pile. Now hopefully you aren't going to need to be going into the discard pile that much to pull off the win, because Gardevoir is strong enough by itself that you should be able to take the game down before having to get there. But the option is there. 
So let's look at how we're setting this deck up. We're leading off with Vulpix. Vulpix is the best card for this deck. I personally believe it's better than Diancy. I don't like committing an energy to Diancy. I don't like having Diancy stuck up there. I want to put my energy on the bench Gardevoir and let Vulpix sit up there and beacon and get the cards that I want. We've got two Bridget. I upped the count to two because it is going to be extremely important post rotation to get Remoraid, Ralts, Ralts down on the bench turn one. So I've got four two Bridget and three Tapu Lele to help me get that process going. I've only got three Candy, but I've got two Curlia. Really honestly, with the Mallow Octillery combo that you should have access to on turn two, um, you should be candying into Gardevoir really, really quickly. Uh, we've got two Guzma because we can always get them back with Puzzle of Time. I don't need three. One Acerola allows me to get it, uh, allows me to, four Puzzles of Time allows me to get that back at any point in time. One Skyla just for emergency situations where Mallow and Octillery won't work and we need to access Rare Candy. Only three Sycamore um, and two N, but that's fine because as I've been blabbering on and on about so far, the engine of this deck is Mallow, Octillery, Puzzle of Time, Emergency, Skyla. You can Sycamore when you need just like to get out of emergency situations or you have a dead hand or whatever. Why do I still have Gallade in here? Gallade obviously is um, maybe not quite as good as Gardevoir. Hey, you know what I just... Is this in the top corner here? Is that a Curlia? Is that like a... Or is that... Oh no, that's Gallade just moving so fast. I never knew that this had multiple images of Gallade in it. Do you guys see that? See where my mouse is? Gallade's head. Gallade's head. It almost looks like a Curlia's head, but it's not. That's pretty cool. Anyways... So Gallade sort of works with this too. It's almost like a mini Mallow. It lets you look at the top five cards of your deck and put them back in any order. Then you can draw them with Octillery. That's okay, but it doesn't guarantee that you get what you need with Puzzle of Time. Really, Gallade is in there because when combined with a Choice Band, uh, it's able to do 160 damage. Yeah, it's able to do 160 damage with a Choice Band for just a double colorless energy or just two Secret Springs or one Secret Spring and an energy attachment. Um, so it's a pretty powerful attack. It's a non EXGX attack that helps with Nine Tails. Um, I don't think you're going to see a lot of the baby Alola Nine Tails around, but if you do, Gallade's a good answer. Gallade is a consistency card. Gallade is a uh, way to your dark matchups even easier than you already do. Gallade is a good answer to Zorark when it comes out in about a month and a half, so let's just get comfortable with Gallade now. Um, anything else we need to talk about? I do run two Choice Band in this deck. Um, for me, I know a lot of players don't run Choice Band, but for me, Choice Band is essentially an extra secret spring. I get it. You probably don't normally feel like putting choice band down you want to put float stone down uh, everyone's play style is different i just like choice band if you don't like choice band that's totally cool so that is the deck let's go ahead and get some matches going the music gets silent because it's about to get intense <laughs> all right Let's see if we can get this up and running. And the cool thing about this compared to what I used to do, I used to look for the best example of the deck and just show it to you guys. Ooh, that is kind of loud. Let's see, we might need to turn some of this uh, volume down here in just a minute. First video, you'll have to bear with me a second. Oh, what are we doing now? All right, cool. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Let's see. Let's turn some of this down just a hair. There we go. That shouldn't be too bad. Okay, as I was saying, what's cool about this compared to what I used to do, I used to just upload Let's get that brightness all the way up. I used to just upload the best example of the deck and show you guys and just be like, okay, here it is at its at its height, at its peak. But now we're just taking whatever comes in stream. If I, if I draw a dead hand, if my opponent plays some random deck we've never heard of, what? we're just going to play a couple games and see how it goes. All right, cool. So this isn't the best hand in the world, obviously. I think, I don't think Tapu Lele can knock me out next turn. It would be easy to just Sycamore my hand away. That might be the best play. 
yeah, I think it is. I was gonna say I could mallow and just put like a Bridget on the top of the deck. I just want to get things going. <laughs> Let's sick them more. I hate wasting resources though. I really do. So this works though too, because we can get the Vulpix. We can Ultra Ball away. Don't want to Ultra Ball away the Super Rod. I'm actually going to Ultra Ball away. No, come on. Yeah, we've got our other Guzma in there already. I don't want to discard the Guzma. Don't want to discard a candy. Ugh. I think I might do the Guzma because I just I'm gonna have to rely on Puzzle to get it back. Candy, I don't really want to Ultra Ball away either. I had to get a Ralts down though. Mallow actually may not be super important right now. Uh, I hate to do that. All right, <laughs> that was sad. Let's get Ralts. Gas to get him down, or her, her, because I'm evolving to Gardevoir. So we'll go ahead and retreat, send up Vulpix, take a look at the discard again. I don't want a Super Rod quite yet. I can always just do it next turn if I want. Yeah, 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 that sounds good. And we'll go ahead and end the turn. We know that my opponent is playing Salazzle. It's probably Ho-Oh Salazzle. Of any other decks that run Salazzle, unless, you know, PTCGO. Who knows? Um, cool, so we don't have any weird fire Pokemon, don't have any weakness. Okay. I haven't seen that in any fire decks yet. Okay. I'll take that. <laughs> we'll have an energy attachment, we'll have our octillery, we'll have a supporter, we'll have a choice band. I'll take that for next turn for sure. So we see Salazzle and Max Elixir. I don't think if this was just a regular, I mean Salanda and Max Elixir, I don't think if this is just a regular old Salazzle deck, it wouldn't run um, Max Elixir. So I think this is going to be the Ho-Oh variant. I still think those sound effects are a little too loud. Again, sorry. This first, first video. Sound effect volume. Away with you. There we go. Cool. We'll attach an energy. I'm going to play the puzzle just to see what I'm about to draw into. Um, interesting. I don't want the super rod yet, so we're going to put the Lele on top, then the Bridget, then the super rod. So we're going to draw the super rod with the Sycamore. So we'll Abyssal. Basically, I just don't want to Sycamore, Sycamore away my super rod yet. How many Lele's are in the discard pile? Zero. I don't want to end. Sycamore isn't wasting that much. For Lele, I mean, I don't have the pieces in my hand to get a candy to Gardevoir right now. So I think I'll just Sycamore. I'm not really losing much there. Hey guys, check out this cool new draw engine where we just Sycamore every turn instead of actually doing anything else. So I'm gonna Ultra Ball, just uh, double colorless, and Fairy. Gonna get a Curlia, Faux Show. Now I don't, I don't feel like there's any threat of me being knocked out next turn. I know Slanda has a lot of HP. Um, I already, I guess I already attached. I can't attach. Okay. Um, so we're just going to beacon. Let's go ahead and get Guardy. We've got a Lele in hand. I guess we get Guardy and Ralts. Looks good to me. I could have gotten Guardy Guardy and then lele for a candy though. That would have been nice. Or lele for a Mallow for a candy. We'll see. I might do that still. You never know. So we got two hundred land it and a second lele down. He's got to be getting some. Oh, okay, well, whatever. So now the beacon play didn't matter. So I'm about to go into turn two, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. 
Aha. Uh -huh. Salazzle. Sneasel. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get when you just start playing these games right off the cuff, you know? All right. Three, four, five. So 50, 60, 70, 80. So basically, if I attach a DCE and Secret Spring, then I would get the KO here. So let's go ahead and Field Blower his stuff away. We are going to go ahead and can do the benched. We're going to play Ralt. We'll use Gallade now. Let's look at the top five because we're about to draw two of them. Oh, cool. That would have been great. Um, <laughs> we'll put DCE on top. We definitely want to draw that. Yeah, we'll take the Gardevoir too. That'll work. Why not? Yeah, this is fine. So that's going to give us, yeah, let's go ahead and Abyssal Hand for the Gardevoir and the DCE. So we can evolve two, three, four, five, six. I think that's going to be the, yeah, that's definitely a knockout. A secret spring up to Guardi. Attach the DCE for the turn. And then we've got a Bridget. Well, that's okay. Next turn, we can Octillery for a little bit more. Oh yeah, we don't have anything we want to bridge it out. Whatever, at least we just get it out of our hands in case we get end. And then we will infinite force for the knockout. I don't think there's really much good stuff going on that he can do to counter where I'm at at this point. Hey, Eralts, that's not bad. Um, he can put some damage down, but I mean, I can ace roll it back up. Yay, Weavile. Weavile's scary. It's going to drop 60 damage on three out of my four Pokemon, which sounds awful. I'm going to guess he'll end here again. I don't know if going from three cards to four cards with the Octillery ability that I have is that big of a deal. I feel like he may have been better off served with a Sycamore or something. I'll take it though. I'll be happy to get another card in the hand. This is not, this actually isn't that bad of a hand. I can super rod some stuff back in. Energies and Gardevoirs, play down the Floatstone, draw two or three with Octillery, maybe play the puzzle to look at the top few cards, just dependent upon how many I'm about to draw with Octillery. So Landit comes up and he passes, so he whiffed the energy. Oh, double puzzle. Yahweh's got to get excited when you see that double puzzle. Um, So we are going to go get, yeah, we're going to go get Gardevoir. We're going to get a Guzma out of there. Might even want a DCE. Yeah, okay, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to attach the float. This is kind of a question of like how quickly do we want to win this game I just get energy Guzma uh, I don't know let's 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 play the let's Gallade first <clears throat> I'll definitely take an energy I'll definitely take an ultra ball might as well take two energies and then Ralts can go, then Ace Rolla. Cool. So we're gonna have two energy on the field, uh, two Ralts on the field this turn for sure. Let's play the double puzzle. Let's look at my hand again. That's right, I've got the candy in hand. So we're gonna take Guardy. We're gonna take, I think we're gonna take Guzma. Um, I want to just kind of end the game. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. So we can candy this Ralts on up. I don't, I mean, 
do I do you take the Weavile or the uh, Tapu Lele here? I mean, ugh, I think I want to just end this game. But here's the deal. Look at the discard pile. I have one Guzma down and three Puzzle of Time. I will have only way I'll have access to Guzma in the future is if I um uh, is if I uh. Is if I were to just Twilight GX, which I don't plan on doing. So I would rather would just take a advantageous place in board state right now, rather than two prizes for the heck of it. So obviously we'll get the knockout. So I'm gonna attach to the back here. I don't really. Yeah, we'll secret spring to the back to here. Let's see. I like spread my energies out with Gardevoir when I can. Sometimes you just almost don't want to uh, over attach. That'll work. So we know we can hit whatever he sends up EX GX wise for 180 next turn with the energy that's in my hand. Okay, that's fine too. Yeah, I don't, I don't care that. We'll just premonition. Yeah, we certainly don't want to end. That's fine. Nothing has damage counters, or else we would just maybe ace or roll or something. I don't know. Hey, another cool play if somehow your artillery gets damage on it and you have another emery down, you can ace roll it up and then use the artillery again. Whatever. Let's see. Let's look at the discard. I have a Curlia down there, so I want that back. I'm going to go ahead and super rod. I'm going to put Curlia, Lele, and uh, energy back in. I'm gonna Ultra Ball. I'm gonna go ahead and get that Curlia. So I can evolve my Gardevoir next turn. I think that's pretty much game. Uh, I'm not really even sure what my opponent's deck is. Yeah, cool. Sweet. So you didn't get to see one single example of using Mallow and Octillery, but at least we got to see Puzzle of Time, right? Let's try another one. Let's see if we can get a better example than that. I hope you guys like this new format. We're just playing a couple games, making a little bit longer videos. I like it. I'm hoping you guys do too. Wow. What an intense name. Demon Armageddon. Intense. All right, cool. This is an iffy start. So obviously looking at my hand, I'm considering whether I should or shouldn't play the floatstone down. Ooh, okay. So we are playing against Galissapod. Now the question is, do I want energy down immediately or not? I know I definitely do want to be able to get out of the active spot. Ugh, I don't think I want to waste a DCE on the Lele. I definitely am not going to Sycamore here. We'll end. It's kind of a rough start. I got two Bridget and four Ultra Ball on this deck, but not today. Wow, that is awful. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, let's see what he can do. This will be interesting to see if it's like a Zorark version or yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Post rotation Glissopod will be an interesting. Oh, we attach it to Zora. Yes, thank you, Bridget. Oh my gosh, that's why we play two. So we can stupid situations like that. So we're gonna take Rem Raid, Ralts, and Volpix, obviously. So we will just scooch on out of there and send all Volpix up. 
and then beacon. So at this point, I'm going to get a Ralts and a Curlia because I've got the Octillery in my hand and I want another Ralts on the field next turn. And then we will start to get in business here. Zorark here, I mean, is, is it's a good play. It's going to get the knockout on my full picks. But, I mean, I have to get set up, so. And kind of hurts. But it's to be expected. Especially when you see him Ultra Ball away and end in a Sycamore. Alright, this is fine. I'll take this for sure. I might even have the turn 2 knockout. Depending on what I can do here. Let's see. One, two, down to four, attach. Yeah, it depends on what I draw. Yeah. So we might have to get a little fancy. One, two, three, four is 120. Yep, that'll be a knockout. Um, I would have to super rod in something or mallow for, I mean, lele for something pointless. I hate to use my super rod so early. But I can always get it back with Twilight GX or Puzzle. Let's do it. That's super odd. Yay! Alright, here's where this deck gets fun. This is exactly what I wanted you guys to see. Mallow, we're going to put Gardevoir and Rare Candy on top. Then we are going to Abyssal right into the Candy and Gardevoir. It, I mean... <laughs> Doesn't get any better than that, brother, I'll tell you what. <laughs> That's pretty exciting to be able to do. 120 swinging right on turn, what is this, two? I'll take that, I'll take that all day. Then I got an N and a Lele in hand for next turn. The engine is good, my friends. Now the most Zora can do to me next turn, I mean, is like, what, 100 with a band? I'll take that. And we pulled a Ralts off the prizes. I like it. I'm assuming he's going to put down a Floatstone and Evolve and hit me for the 120, which is fine. All I need is a DCE, a Secret Spring, and a band. And I'll be able to hit him for the knockout. Oh, he's got a choice ban. Oh, he doesn't have the Glissapod. I'm sure he'll pull it, though. Because, I mean, it should be common and have Ultra Balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heavy Balls. Cool. This will be an interesting turn. If I can get a DCE or an Energy or a Band off the top deck here, I would guarantee the knockout. Okay. So we get a Vulpix. So let's think about this. So he's got one energy attached. I've got two energies. I could throw down a DCE and Secret Spring again, which would hit for one, two, three, four, five, six, just for 180. It's going to whiff the knockout. Um, I would have to draw into something from the top deck. So I don't quite think... Let's see what's in the discard. Yeah, I don't quite think we're in a position yet to be able to uh, take this knockout here. I could Acerola on up, but I'm not super comfortable with that either. Um, hmm. <laughs> I think I'm going to kind of go in the direction of getting the cards I need anyway with the Mallow play, and just kind of see what the Octillery nets me. Oh, hey, cool, the, the Mallows are gone, so that's fine. <laughs> we ain't going to do that now. Um, Let's go ahead and just take a Sycamore. We're just going to kind of go for it. I'm going to play this Vulpix down, even though I kind of hate to do so. Uh, I want to go ahead and use my Abyssal Hand here. At this point, I just want to draw 10 cards and see what I get. Well, that's nice. 
Um, here's the tough part. Do you attach it? All you need is a band and an energy on this sycamore to get the knockout and basically seal the game. I mean, game game's basically over if I do that. Or I could retreat and just put 60 damage on it with Tapu Lele. We know he's not going to get the knock. Well, Zorar could get the knock turn. Because we do have a mighty large bench. If this was a tournament, like a real life tournament, I think I would just be smart and play this a little different. But it's PTCGO. Let's just have a little fun and see what we get. Oh, and we get, we get the knockout. Uh, we get the band. Hey, maybe I should do this in tournaments. I don't know. Now we get to have, we are at a really interesting point. We get to have a pretty, pretty cool, um, I don't know, discussion, visual, whatever, because I got super aggressive here and I'm going to get knocked out next turn and be left at a point where I don't know if I'm going to have everything I need to respond. But one shotting a Galissapod like that is pretty sweet. But did I overextend? Will it cost me the game? We'll find out. Zorox, I'm ready to attack. Let's see. So Zorark's hitting for or what? 160 minus 20, one, uh, 140. Ow. He does need the DCE, but I'm sure he's got it. Or just another like grass energy Galissapod for the knockout. Yeah, that was a really intense turn last turn. I, I don't. Not a fan. I, I don't like what I did last turn. I'll, I'll say that, guys. So the DCE goes down on Zorark. Of course, I'm going to be looking to see if there's a way in my hand for me to go ahead and candy up and get the knockout next turn. I don't know if there is, but we'll find out. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. Um, I can Ultra Ball for Lele for Skyla. Yeah. I just wouldn't have any energies. So let's see. If I play Ultra Ball, discard like Guzma and Float. Or whatever. Then I could get can't the get, get Lele. Then I do Ultra Ball, discard Ralts and Puzzle and get candy. So Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball, Puzzle, Guzma, Float, and Ralts would be gone. Or Curly would be gone. Play Ralts Ralt down. Yeah, then I could just draw and hope to draw into it. I'd still need two energies though. How many are in the discard? Four. I've got eight in the deck. Let's let's get moving in that direction and see what we can do. I might keep the puzzle. I'm going to dump the curlia. Yeah. Yeah, let's take a look through the deck here. So we've got two guardies. We've got the Lele. We've got the Skyla. We've got the candy. No, I'm gonna just Skyla for puzzle and play double puzzle. Duh. Yeah, I think that gets the knockout. Did I dump the Curlia? Man, I'm an idiot. I should've No no, that's fine, that's fine, because I have to play the Lele down, so I'm gonna be dumping. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. Because I'm just going to be skylaying for puzzle and candying up to my guardy. Yeah, that's fine. We hi puzzle. Me and puzzle are friends. So with the puzzle, we're going to get candy and energy right candy and energy so we've got five five very dce so we're gonna pull the dce out yeah 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 we're gonna go candy dce here we're gonna dump guzma and ralts grab guardy This is one of the cool things about the deck. I mean, there's some, some sort of complex turns here. So we are gonna get candy and 
DCE. Y'all, I'm telling you, watch out for this Guardi deck post rotation. It is a bonkers. Well, candy on up to Guardi. Now I still have to draw uh, a fairy energy on my abyssal hand, or else <laughs> none of this matters. <laughs> But we got a full five or full empty hand, so a full empty hand. That doesn't make any sense. Yes. All right, cool. Is this deck not insane? I've got an answer every turn. Every turn. And I even overextended at one point just to test it and see what would happen. This deck is nuts. All right, cool. And I've got the DC, yeah, and I've got the knockout. If he, if he, first of all, you evolve here and it doesn't do the extra damage, so he's kind of messed up. But, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, do 210 damage next turn anyway. So, Gardevoir, everybody. Puzzle of Time, Mallow, Octillery. It's fantastic. What will he do? I don't think we'll, we'll test my theory. I don't think he gets the knockout this turn. Oh, also, have I used my field blowers? Because I will need that next turn. I have not. I have two field blower left. I haven't used them. He's got his field blowers, though, for my benched float stones. Are we going to Guzma something and then attach a float stone to uh, Aranguru? I think that's what he has to do, right? I mean, I'm 99.9% .9 sure Galissapod doesn't do the extra damage if it evolves. He's going to end. I don't think that's a good play, honestly. I've got a lot of consistency stuff left in my deck. Plus, I mean, the Octillery is going to get me cards, too. Yeah, I'll just Secret Spring and then Octillery for three or four cards. Yeah, see, exactly. I thought it only did 30. Oh, hey, Sycamore. So... Secret Spring. Oh yeah, that's a game. I wish I could see how this turn plays out. I kind of hate how that ends like that. Hey, you guys down for one more? Let's do one more. So I've won five straight with this uh, deck. It, it won't say that on the versus ladder because I played some other stuff in between. Um, but yeah, I beat Espeon Garbodor, Metagross, which was just wild. I wish I had that recorded. Um, Tapu Koko, Raikou, Electro. And then, of course, we just beat the Salazzle thing, and then Glissopod. Let's do one more. Let's see if we can win six straight with Guardi. I'm probably playing against Vikavolt Bulu right now. Which is good. This is like top two decks, in my opinion, post-rotation. And I lost the flip. Good. That's what I wanted. I didn't want to win the flip on this one. I want to start at a disadvantage and see how the matchup goes. I don't own any Guardians. They're 20 bucks a piece. I don't even plan on buying any, so I don't know why I care that much about this matchup, but whatever. I think I'm just more excited about the draw engine than anything. Oh, it's Galissapod? Again? Oh, well. You guys get to see my sheer disappointment when playing live. Glissopod, Garbodor. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Don't remember. That hex is actually pretty nice. Oh, yeah. This is, we, we're literally like eight hours away from rotation. Hence why that hex is actually pretty nice. He could evolve and win the game next turn, so. I don't plan on being okay with that. I, I would normally not do this, but I mean, because he hexed me, which won't be a card in like eight hours, we have to go about it this way. Oh, cool. Well, look, if he has DCE Garbodor, then he wins, whatever. This game is kind of pointless for our testing purposes anyway. Here comes the Garby. Maybe. I kind of hope he does, because I'm ready to not play against Galissapod again. Yes. Now let's see the DCE or the Sycamore. <laughs> I 
Lele for Sycamore, right? I'm kind of happy Hex. I'm, I'm really happy with the rotation. I'm happy Hex is leaving. I'm happy a lot of stuff. Maybe he's got a Shaman. Aw, oh, boo. Is he not going to knock me out this turn? Uh, all right, we'll have to play it out. This goes from like, uh, why didn't he end the game to like, I'm probably just gonna win now pretty quickly. No, my Vulpix isn't there. That's all right, I'll just take three Ralts, who cares? <laughs> and I am going to retreat because Octillery is crucial to this deck. Um, I don't really want to put the Float Stone down on the Lele yet. Yeah, I think I'm good. I'm done. Yeah, exactly. Why I didn't put the float stone down on the Lele. And is fine. My hand's average. That is that is a hand. We can at least say that much. Acid spray. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well. That's Ultra Ball. Puzzle of Time. And and for artillery. Ball. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's fine. Ball, Ultra Ball, and Float Stone. For Lele. So we're gonna get Lele. Yeah. As long as I have my Mallows. Cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna get a candy and a Gardevoir here. Um. And then, based on what I draw with my Abyssal Hand, we'll determine what I do next. I could get the knockout with Tapu Lele, but I'll lose a lot of energies if I do that. I'd like the knockout with Gardevoir. I could get it with Gallade. That just feels somewhat wasteful at this point. Uh, I'm gonna try to get it with... Yeah. Uh... We got four down. I could get it with Lele. I mean, yeah, no, I'm, I'm fine with that. Let's try it. I have to draw an energy, a, a, a fairy energy though. Cause my discard pile has two float stones, which is all the float stones I have. Yeah, we have to, let's, let's just try it. Why not? Who cares? Okay, so we're not gonna get it. That's fine. We'll just be more prepared for next turn, I guess. Or I could retreat and just let him smack a Ralts. That seems fine as well. Yeah, I'm not giving up two prizes. Screw that. Have a Ralts. for that big Golisopod attack. Crosscut GX, 150 and switch it, or 100 and reduce 20. 
scratch a lounge. All right. <laughs> Depending on what I draw into here, an ultra ball. That's. Ooh, I could get. So, one, two, three, four. One energy on guard, he gets the knockout. So, I could probably just disc go ahead and away the Guzma and the DCE. One, two, three, four, five. That's 150, 60, 70, 80. Well, I was thinking, there's, there's a couple things to think about here. If I Guzma up the Mallow, I mean, yeah, that doesn't make sense. The Glissabod. I don't, I don't know why I'm worried about the Glissabod. I mean, is he going to crosscut GX me next turn? Like, okay. Do I have another... What's in the discard? Yeah, I've got another Guzma in, in the deck. So, let's do it. Let's Ultra Ball away the TCE and the Guzma. Let's get the Guardi. Do I have the extra mallow? So there's the candy. I don't have the mallow. Okay. Um. Oh no, the mallow's in my hand. Uh, yeah, it's fine. So we're gonna put an energy and a rare candy on the top of the deck. It's my last candy. And then we'll Abyssal. Oh, he has the freaking band down. I missed that last turn. Cool. Looks like we're not going to do anything. <laughs> I totally didn't see that over there. I didn't even see him play that down, honestly. Well, we'll just draw into the candy next turn. Maybe. Trash of pants. For 160. That sure is a lot of damage. Okay. Well, yeah, honestly, guys, I completely didn't even see him throw that band down. This game is uh, pretty much over. <laughs> I might just concede out of it so we can get to another one. I think I was thinking so much about that Mallow play. I was just kind of like, I'm just not going to attention to what's coming because I know here yeah, he'll get the knockout. I mean, we'll see if we can save it. It's going to be tough coming down this many prizes. I know I'm pulling an energy here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Eh. 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 Let's see. We'll give it a couple more turns. If this was so, if this was a tournament. Yeah, I mean, I'd have to scoop. Yeah, here will hit me for a lot of damage. If I don't top deck anything good, I will certainly have to scoop this one. Yeah, I totally missed that Garbodor play. That was that was my fault. I'm not trying to put bad bad examples of how the deck runs. Oh, okay. <laughs> this doesn't help that much, though. I mean, I can... I can Acerola. I can Guzma and Stall. Seems like a better play. I don't have anything to really switch it with though, so. I don't know. Let's mess around with the top three cards and see what we can do. Wow. I was gonna draw into the second puzzle. Why? We'll put I don't wanna put any of these cards on top, honestly. Super rod puzzle Bridget, whatever. Yeah, I think we're probably going to scoop out of this game. Yeah. Bye. All right, cool. So I definitely, like I said, just kind of wasn't really thinking about that. Didn't didn't see that um, garbage or play at all. Totally missed it. My bad, guys. We'll try one more before we end the video.
Normally that matchup goes a little bit better, but you'd have to make the right play. Okay, cool. This looks like it's going to be a Volcanian deck. That'll be fun. I think Volcanian's good too, because if you're doing the Turtonator based Volcanian, you can um, attach a Fighting Fury Belt, steam up twice, and one shot Guardi, which sounds terrible for me. This is like an ideal start though. So we lost one with Gardevoir. We're five and one. Yeah, this start though is nuts. Um, cool. We'll bridge it for Ralts and Ralts, and that's probably about it. Yeah. <laughs> um, man. Okay, cool. We'll just end our turn. I don't want my opponent to be sad. It makes me sad that he's sad. Zekrom, bro. So he'll hit for 50 here and put that energy back on the Volcanian. He might get the knockout even, too. Oh yeah, there's a the knockout. Fury Belt's really, really solid. Steam up, get, yeah, yeah, yeah. Three energies down. See, I don't know why he's sad. He's in a great spot. I am going to try and get this knockout here right away. I just need a DCE. Now, I have an Octillery, I mean a uh, Remoraid in my deck, and I'm about to play what I feel like is a very important N. So I am going to use the Brooklet Hill to get the Remoraid down onto the bench, so it doesn't clog up my hand when I play this N. Those kind of things are, those kind of things are important to consider when you're making plays like this. You always want to give yourself the best odds. So I didn't get the, um, I didn't get what we need, but the turn's not done quite yet. We can at least make one more move, and that'll be an Abyssal Hand for one. Why not put it there? Let's see. Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball is not bad. I can Ultra Ball away Bridget and Mallow. Normally I would keep the Mallow, but I'm going to just evolve to Curly at this turn, Ralts next turn, I mean uh, Gardevoir next turn, and then Sycamore my hand away. So this is fine. I will go ahead and retreat. Oh man, I'm an idiot. I should have premonitioned before using that Abyssal Hand for that Ultra Ball. Duh. Um, let's go ahead and take the Fairy Energy off the top of the deck next turn. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, who knows? I may not have drawn the DCE if I premonition, but that's that was that was stupid. Oh wow, going straight into the power heater. That's sad. <laughs> All right. Um Huh. Well. I think so he's got 140 HP. Looking for 130. All I would need is the Field Blower and the DCE. Let's Premonition and see what's up there. Yeah, let's put Mallow on top. Let's put the Energy on top. A Ralts, a Puzzle, and an N. <laughs> cool. I think all I'm going to do here, I'll just end up Mallowing for, yeah, I'll Mallow for the Knockout. You'll see what I mean. So I thought I was going to... Use Sycamore this turn? I suppose not. Well, Secret Spring to Gallade. Abyssal to get most of the cards we just drew, or we just saw. Attach for turn. And then, no, we're not going to Mallow, obviously, for the knockout. We are going to play this Ralts down. Sycamore. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. It's not going to get the knockout, which is sad. Ultra Ball. The energy. But it will, I mean, it will like next turn. Because I'll just get the field lower then, if I can. Do I 
care about this Guzma right now? Do I have one in the discard? No, let's dump it. Basically, I'm just going to get another Curlia. Getting a little bit ahead of myself in my thinking, but that's good to see it happen on stream, you know? Because um, I was thinking, oh, well, I'll just, after a Premonition, I'll pull the Mallow, I'll play the Mallow. Um, or after I Abyssal Hand, I'll pull the Mallow, then I'll play the Mallow. I'm not going to Abyssal Hand again, obviously. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to take the knockout because, uh, like I said, I was just getting a little too ahead of myself in my thinking. But we're still in a fine spot. We're putting 130 on the Volcanion. Next turn, we're going to do everything we can at a, um, to get a Field Blower to just take the knockout on the Volcanion and have him have to be forced to pull up his uh, benched Volcanion. <laughs> I don't, he'll have to, he just attached, so I don't know if he'll be able to switch out of this this turn. He'd have to literally have a switch or like an ace, a, a, um, an ace Arola or an Olympia to get out of this. For now, he may just have to hit me for 60. <laughs> or he could Ultra Ball for the, um, for the Lele to get what he needs. Yeah, that would be better. He had a Guzma, but didn't want to use it. I guess he could have only really taken the Octillery or the Curly off the bench this turn. So he'll just take the Sycamore. Interesting. He could have Field Blow- well, yeah, never mind. I was say he could Field Blow or some of my tools away, but I don't know how important they are. I guess both Float Stone on the field are pretty important. But he had the Ultra Ball for the Lele. I guess I get it. So at least we're getting to a point now. So now we're hitting for 90. All right. All right, cool. We're getting to a point now where it looks like it'll be a fairly competitive game. I could ace Rola, but that sounds bad to be completely honest. Let's just go ahead and premonition first. Do we have the field blow around here? No. Let's see what we got in hand. Nothing that great. Um, I don't really need the Lele or the puzzle right now, so I'll just take the energies first. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, let's just get the energy. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, that's that's so dumb. Okay, whatever. Obviously, I was trying to keep that in my hand so I can secret spring, but I accidentally attached it to Ralts. Cool. Well, I know the next four cards aren't that great, so I'm not super sure that I would want a Sycamore right now. I almost think I would want to just play an N. Yeah, I mean, playing an N wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, it's fine. So we're gonna play N just to see if we can get what we can get here. That's okay. We'll put the DCE. No, we already attached like idiots. Um, that's cool. We'll just sensitive blade. Already attached to the Ralts accidentally. <laughs> That would be like dropping a card out of your hand during the tournament and it automatically attaches to the, your Pokemon. It's like, oops, I guess the play has been made. I know some of y'all make that stick if your opponent does it. Y'all dirty. So, even if magically he had a Guzma here, if he steamed up three times, he would still just be hitting for 220 on my guardy this is fine because basically we're just gonna get a knockout next turn yeah it doesn't matter we're gonna be hitting for 240 damage next turn anyway at least we should be <laughs> yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and sycamore.
Yeah. Oh, oops. Guess we're not taking the knockout. <laughs> Phew, that was close. As long as he has three energies, which he does, then he'll take the knockout here. Oh yeah, that'll work too. This is an interesting play. What was I thinking last turn? I had, there was six, six times three is 180. Oh yeah, no, huh? Math, what do you know? Um, all right, let's see how we can get this knockout this turn. So we'll put Ralts down. If we play Tapu Lele, let's say we attach to Ralts. All right, we got Candy in hand. Candy in hand, attached to Ralts. You have Tapu Lele for Mallow. That leaves us with one, two, three, four cards in hand. We would want to draw into the. Yeah, that should do it. Well, we want to draw. No, we need to have four cards in hand. So I need to attach. I just need to play the puzzle first, right? Because I just need to get Guardian Field Blower. And that should be. That should be basically game. Right? Yeah, that should be game. I mean, not not this turn, but you guys get it. Let's see. Let's just go in that direction. Maybe I'm not thinking right. Maybe I've been playing too long, not thinking things through the right way. Oh, I only have a Sycamore. That's hilarious. Okay. Whatever. Uh, why would I ever even need to play that puzzle anyway? It doesn't. I mean, okay. Yeah, we'll just draw an extra card. Yeah, we'll draw eight cards, that's fine. Yeah, that'll work. At least we can get the candy to Guardy before we... before we evolve. I mean, before we play Sycamore. This is a sad example of me playing Pokemon, guys. Sorry. <laughs> okay, now... Let's go ahead and Sycamore for all but two cards from our deck. There's the Field Blowers. We'll Secret Spring. We'll take four prizes this turn. <laughs> as long as I can do math, we'll take four prizes this turn. <laughs> you never know. I might not be able to do math. And at least this prevents me from having the situation where I get end and lose the game. Because uh, that would be bad. And hey, look, we can evolve into another Guardi. Um, we got double DCE in hand, so I'm okay with Secret Springing to this benched Guardi just to have another backup option. Alright, now we'll Infinite Force for the prize of the turn. So we sure have had to dig ourselves out of a hole, a misplay here and there too, but I think we're fine at this point. <laughs> oh, no, there's no way he can attack. Yeah, there's no way. Okay. I was getting excited because I was like, ooh, star me. But I think he has to hit, I mean, he has to hit a lot of stuff to be able to do this. If he can, that would be kind of cool. Otherwise, I think I clearly have it next turn. I'm hitting for 150, no matter what. So he has to send up his Volcanion with no energy and just sit there and hope that I deck out, which I would just use Twilight GX. Yeah, I don't think there's any way. Unless I'm missing something. He'd have to attach an elixir, but how many elixirs has he used? Three. There goes a oh, oh. That's always interesting. Intense music. 
It's a pretty intense situation. I think the ho -Oh coming up would be the best play. How many more energies do I have left in the deck? So we got four fairy energies down. We got one fairy energy left. Who knows? If it's in the deck, I think I win no matter what. No, he's still no no no, he can still win actually. Maybe. <clears throat> he needs to send up his Vulcanian somehow Kiawe to the benched ho -Oh, oh What are we gonna do here? Yeah, yes! No! No, don't oh, you lose. Okay, good, he didn't play it. Whew. But then he loses. Okay. So hang on a minute, guys. What would have been the best play here? He would have had to retreat it to send up Vulcanian. I can't even get to... No, I'm not even getting to see what was in my deck. If I had another fairy energy in my deck, I would win. If not, I would have to send the... Um, I would have to uh, see what was in my hand. I don't even remember. Um, yeah, nothing. So I would have had to have... Just sent... I can't move this stuff around, can I? Okay. Well, whatever. Um... I would have had to have had the fairy energy for the last card in the deck if he had sent up Ho-Ho -Oh and just passed. If he had sent up Volcanian, he would have had to have sent up Volcanian, had a float stone, Kiawe to the benched Ho-Ho. -Oh. Even that, he would have had to have had like two steam ups or, a, or one steam up and a band. I think I still would have had it. I would have had to have been forced to twilight this turn, um, but I still think I would have had it. Anyways, that is it. That's all I'm gonna do for tonight. That's four games. Um, we had some odd thinking through situations towards the end of those last two games. I kind of got a little bit ahead of myself, which happens sometimes. That's why we play test. I haven't really played this deck before today. I played three games earlier and then just played the four that you guys saw. Um, but that's why we play test so we can learn how not to get ahead of ourselves in thinking. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, this deck obviously is extremely strong. So we went six and one with it, beating Volcanian. Um, Galissapod, Metagross, which wasn't on stream, um, Espeon Garbodor, which wasn't on stream, Tapu Koko Raiko, which wasn't on stream, and then a Salazzle deck, which was on stream, and then we lost to Garbodor uh, Galissapod. Um, so yeah, I, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed watching me here on the screen for the first time. Uh, I had lots of fun. Uh, yeah, I thought it was really great. And uh, stay tuned because we'll be producing a lot more cool stuff coming up. And uh, just remember when you're playing Pokemon to have fun. Thanks, guys. Bye.